Hello everyone, this is Richard Crompton from Word of Faith in Kabecha and I want to read to you 2 Timothy 2 verse 20. And it says, Now in a great house there are not only vessels of gold and silver, but also of wood and clay, some of honorable use and some for dishonorable. Now a lot of households still do this. They've got bowls that they bring out when the, the, their friends come out, their, the fancy people come out. And then they've got other bowls and plates and cutlery for everyday use. And God's, in God's house, that's very similar. The bowls and, and that are made of gold and silver and the bowls that are made of wood and clay. Now, what does this mean? It means, if you see there, God doesn't speak about the use. He speaks about the material. You see, it doesn't really matter what you do so much as who you are. God cares about the material that you're made of. And that only comes from His presence. So gold represents His, his royalty and His glory. And silver represents um, salvation and change in you. And so are you a bowl that's made of gold and silver? Or are you a a bowl that's made of wood and clay. So what, is, what does this mean in practical terms? It means, for instance, who would you rather have, have prophesied to you, both Balaam and Isaiah, prophesied about the coming of the Holy Sp of, of Jesus? But who would you rather have prophesied or go to in a difficulty? Isaiah or Balaam? Isaiah allowed God to sanctify him, change him, and make him new, while Balaam also had a gift, but his character hadn't changed at all. And so God will bring you out proudly if you allow your heart to change. It isn't what you do, it's who he's made you to be. I'm going to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you that if we, if we allow you, you will make us bowls of gold and silver and not of wood and clay. Change our character, make us new and allow us to be bowls of, of honor in your kingdom, in your house. Amen.